Article 17, motion reads, move that the town authorize the use of the site of the current Hooker School located on the westerly half of the existing 2.763 acre lot owned by the town of Hadley. Hampshire County Registry of Deeds Book 766, page 411, for demolition of the existing structure and construction of, a, construction of a proposed new library building contingent upon the receipt of a library construction grant from the Mass, Massachusetts Board of Library Co Commissioners in appropriation of local funding of the balance of the project. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. We have the library here to speak to this. Yes, Allison Dantevenman, 25 East Hadley Road. I'm a library trustee and the chair of the Planning and Design Committee. The trustees began this process two years ago by coming here before town meeting and asking for your approval, which we received, which we received unanimously, to apply for the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners, MBLC, matching grant for planning and design for a new library. After receiving the grant, a planning and design committee was formed with members from the community at large as well as members from the building committee and the select board. We conducted surveys about location and library services. We created a building program using the most conservative of nationally recognized standards for library space needs. To answer the previous question, that needs assessment is available online on the library website. As we discussed location, we attended all municipal building committee meetings and reported regularly to the select board. We hosted several televised forums on lo location options and these warrant articles. We have completed the planning and design part of the process. We are now asking the town to support the plan by allowing us to apply for a construction grant from the MBLC. The passage of these articles will not require a financial commitment from the town unless the grant is awarded and the funds are accepted at town meeting in fall 2017. We have two warrant articles on the agenda tonight. If the first article does not pass, we will pull the second. Article 17 asks you to allow the library the use of the Hooker School site if we receive a construction grant and the town approves receiving it and funds the building project in 2017. Construction will not begin until spring 2019 at the earliest. This site was one of the sites recommended by the Municipal Building Committee. After many meetings and public forums, the Planning Design Committee decided that this site was the, would give us the most competitive advantage to receive grant funding and best reflected what survey results suggested was important to Hadley Town residents. This site allows the town to be in creating the town center concept discussed in various forums. This grant represents the possibility of the MBLC funding up to 51% of total building costs. In addition, the library capital campaign hopes to raise 500,000 toward this project. We raised over $1,700 just the other day and Valley gives thanks to everyone. As trustees, our job is to find financial opportunities for our town. This building grant is not available annually and we are not sure when or even if there will be another grant funding process. I would reiterate that the passing of this article does not mean that the library will move into the hooker site unless the town receives a grant, approves it, and approves the appropriation of funds for the library in 2017. This article will cost the town nothing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just to update everybody, um, I believe on your warrant, the Capital Planning Committee had a recommendation pending. I can now tell you they have taken a vote, two for and two against, so you can add that to your warrant information. Are there any other questions for the motion? Art West out in Hartsbrook. Uh, we have a senior center that's been operating for I don't know how many years. Fits the town for what the town needs. There's absolutely no excuse for us to pass this crazy motion. It's got to be the worst that's ever come before this town in a hundred years. 
the library, just to, for a quick one, we spent a lot of money putting in a, a, a upgrades on that library and everything else in the last few years. I make, the, 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 I suggest we turn this down. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I am speaking in support of this motion. Um, I love the Goodwin, it's a sweet little library, but it's not adequate to our needs today. I hope that we find some creative reuse for that building. The Hooker, as I mentioned earlier, is a disastrous, sick building that is not serving the needs of seniors. And as my 60th birthday comes rolling up in the not very distant future in December, um, I don't see myself using that building as I move into my senior years. It's not a good building. I wouldn't go there to get more sick. So this is an opportunity to get rid of a disaster building and put in something beautiful and wonderful and serviceable and do it in a way that I'm imagining will respect the integrity of the existing Goodwin Library while adding many services, particularly to the contingent in town that uh, doesn't necessarily have a car, that lives in the center of town, maybe they live at Golden Court, they could walk there. I'm supporting it. Mr. Jacobson. Thank you very much. Um, so two parts of this, and I'll take the second part first. So we're voting to authorize to go for a grant for 51%, and then we're gonna try to raise some money, and then there's gonna be a deficit. Now, uniquely, I spent about 15 years as a library trustee in Brookline, and we did get a grant, and we went through the whole building process. And it cost a fortune, and it took us a long time, and the only thing bailed us out is we had a very active and wealthy uh, committee raising money for a, in a trust uh, that kicked in a lot of money, but the town still ended up paying a lot of money. So I just want to point out that we're still on the hook for 49% of the money, and you know maybe, maybe we'll raise some of it, maybe we won't. Now, going back to my original question, a needs assessment, as I see it, is looking 10 years in the future, asking what libraries, what functions libraries are going to be called upon, asking whether warehousing books, and I'm a, I love books, okay, asking whether warehousing books is something that public libraries are going to be doing as opposed to academic libraries, which will have to still, asking whether the, time, the state system of, of being able to order books online and have them delivered to your local library isn't really a better idea than building a building to warehouse books or whatever. And if it turns out, like it did at the Brookline Library, that a lot of what the uses was becoming was electronic, and a lot of it was people using town-owned and, and, and supplied computers and Wi-Fi. That doesn't have to be in a brand new library building. It, 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 it can be, you know, someplace else. So I really think that feasibility to me or, 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 or needs to me is looking 10 years in the future and asking what is a town of 5,000 people really going to need for a library uh, as, as, as I said, as technology is, is unforeseeable, but obviously moving in, the, in that direction. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm a book guy. Thank you. Mr. Pitt. I guess what I want to do is set the record straight. Two days before my election, there was some vicious rumors that went around. One of the rumors was that I harassed a colleague of mine's mother. Uh, which was absolutely unfounded. When I left the conversation, it ended with, what a pleasure was talking to a young man like you. The second rumor that went around that I was totally against the library, 100%. That is wrong. The only thing, I commend the library and trustees for the job they did and the design they brought forth. It's tremendous. But I am totally against the site where they want to put it. I can't see knocking down a building that the building recommended 
spending almost $100,000 to put a new roof on and we're going to knock it down? It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and they can have another bite at this apple if this goes down tonight in the fall. And I would like them to go back and find another site that's compatible to everybody in this room. And I think the library would pass. Hello, I'm Randall Broadhurst. I live at 11 Mount Warner. And the, the way they're talking about this library and putting money into repair for this or that, the, if you take all the money they put into the repairs, you could have built a new library that is safe instead of have to add this or that to it when it's a building I looked at and I used to do masonry work and I think the best thing to do is tear it down before someone gets injured. Thank you. The library or the senior center? Which one? Both. <laughs> that makes it easy. Sharon Parsons, 137 Mill Valley Road, and like my predecessor, I am a book lover. I am an educator, I have worked in libraries. But I know the difference between needs and wants. And I read the report that was prepared by the trustees. I may add, it was a wonderful report, it was very thorough, but using your own information. You asked to have youth and children taken care of. We have two places in this community already that could be used for those things. At Hadley Elementary School, there is a beautiful library. There is no librarian. A beautiful room not being utilized fully. Upstairs at Hopkins Academy, there's a library that's used all the time in the afternoon for the youth. It remains open past the hours that the school closes. So youth programs that have been proposed for a new library, I don't see as necessary. And on top of that, we see obsolescence. Go upstairs and look in that library. The shelves are practically empty because kids are not using books and kids are our future. Next, I use libraries all the time. I looked at your report, 11 of the 18 towns in your community report, your comparison chart, are not within a short drive of the libraries that we have available. I currently use Forbes, I currently use Jones, I use the UMass Library, I use the Amherst Library, and I use the Smith College Library. I do not see a need for a library when such facilities are already available in this valley. Right. To finish it off, I looked at your circulation. By my estimates and your own figures, we see about 10 people per hour in the library, mind you, at a cost of approximately $75 an hour based on the salary, and I can't justify a new building, more size, with the kind of budget that we're already seeing. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. John Michalski for Sunrise Drive. First, I would like to applaud the Library Commission how they maintain the building. I wish the town followed them and got some instructions from them. But, there's always a but. What they're doing here, uh, the Hooker School, is eligible for the National Register in historical sites. The same story was said 20 years ago about Hooker's, uh, Russell School. It's gonna fall down. That building's still standing there. It's gonna stand there after probably everyone in this town hall, this town meeting is, is, is gone. It'll still be there. And the same thing goes on with, uh, with Hooker's School. Everybody says everything's so bad. You know, everybody wants new. I want a new boat and a new fishing pole. That ain't gonna happen, <laughs> right? But really, this, this article here, Article 17, I urge the people to pass over this at this time. You know, again, our town is in a, a physical crisis. We, we can't even fund the things we wanna uh, fund, and yet we're gonna spend for a library that I have never been in my life. I have no intention to do it. And I, and, I, and I feel, I feel that this, this group jumped right in before a precedent was set or, or priorities were set. Just because they got a grant, they're gonna just jump plow right through the whole thing. That's, that's just absolutely ridiculous. We have a, 
We have a motion to move the question. All in favor of moving the, in a second. We have a motion and a second to move the question. All in favor of moving the question, signify with your gray card. Opposed. Motion to move the question passes. So now, pertaining to the motion, all in favor of the motion. I, I have a point of order. Yeah. Can a motion to move the question be made by anyone on the floor? Or do you have to be online at the microphone? Uh, I think it can be made by anybody on the floor. Is that correct, Joe? Oh, it's up to me. Yeah. Typically, we, we do take it from other people, not necessarily at the microphone. Okay. So. All in favor of the motion, signify with your gray card. Mr. Wait, is this the motion? What? What's the motion? You want, I'll read the motion. It's, it's the motion. We moved it, we passed it, now we're voting on it. You want, I'll read it again. Move that the town authorize the use of the site of the current Hooker School located on the westerly half of the existing 2.763 acre lot owned by the town of Hadley. Hampshire County Register of Deeds, book 766, page 411, for demolition of the existing structure and construction of a proposed new library building, contingent upon the receipt of a library construction grant from the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners in appropriation of local funding of the balance of the project. That's the motion that we're gonna vote on right now. So all in favor, raise your gray card. Hold them up high. I'm going to invoke my two counters. Lisa, Chip, where's Chip? Okay, you can lower them. All those opposed, hold them up high so we can get an accurate count. Counters, once again, count the same people.
Okay, can lower them. Any abstentions? Just so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen abstentions. That's the easy part. Okay. For an approval vote, we had uh, Chip had a count of 35, I had 66, and Lisa had 38. So that's 14, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 15, that's two, 206. So we have 139, four, 206 against, and 13 abstentions. So the motion fails. Did you get those numbers, Jess? Article 18. You're going to pass over that? Yeah. Oh. We pass gonna... over. Thank you. We'll pass over that and we'll move on to Article 19.